What's up, brother fam? Welcome back to a brand new whip review. I am here at Audi with the Chapo, and today I have with me the 2024 Audi SQ5. In this video, I'm going to tell you the top five things that you need to know about this car. I'm going to cover the exterior, the interior, the infotainment, the engine, and the drive. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any other video that I'll post in the future. And also enjoy the other reviews that I already have on the channel. And now, without further ado, let's get in the review. I am CZ, and you're in my world. Let's ride. This is the 2024 Audi SQ5. So for those who are familiar with this car, you can see that the design hasn't changed over the last couple models. But if you're new and want to learn more about this car, this video is for you. So now we're going to take a quick walk around the exterior starting with the front. So this color that you're looking at here, this is the Daytona Gray Metallic with Pearl Effect. So this is a very nice color and sometimes it's very shiny under the sun as well. A very cool color. It's one of Audi's top colors for sure. All right, so front element here, so you have the LED headlights with daytime running light or DRL and dynamic turn signal. Let me just show that real quick. Just unlock the car. There you go, turn signal right there. All right, so now going lower here on this panel, you have this bulb right here. This is for the adaptive cruise control, good safety feature in the car. And you can see that this piece of design right there, it's all blacked out because this car has a black optic package on it. So this is the reason why the contour or the surrounding of the frame is all blacked out. The logo is blacked out as well. So everything that will be chrome is going to be black around the car. And I will show you that as we go. All right. So now to the center, as I mentioned, this is the Audi single frame grille. It's Audi's signature, of course and it's the octagonal shape one. So it have eight sides to it. So very cool looking grill right here. It's massive and it has the stretched out honeycomb pattern on it. So like on an, on an A5, S5, you're gonna see like, like more compact or narrower um, honeycomb pattern. But this one, since it's bigger, then it's wider on the grill and it looks great. So right here at the bottom right there, you have a split that will let the air go through as well, just like the grill to cool off the radiator, cool off the engine as you are driving. And there is a lip or front spoiler here to the front. All right, so this is what you have to the front of the car. So let's keep going to the side. So this car stands on 20 inch wheels because of the black optic package in the sport package on the car. And you have nice rim. I always say this, Audi rims are always nice. You can see the black on the inside of the arms and the face of the rim is chrome. Very cool. And it says Audi Sport just to let you know which factory this car came out of. You have red brick calipers on the car and it has S on it as well. This will let anybody know what car it is, that this is a sport car. People love to see the red brick calipers. Even if they don't know the model, they're gonna see the red bricks, they're gonna be like, oh, this is a sport car. It has some performance to it, that's for sure. But sometimes Audi sends them in yellow, black, very rarely in blue, but always, always in red. So that's the standard right there. All right. So now here, the mirror cap is all black because of black optic package. And you do have black surrounding around the, on the windows. The frame is all black because of the black optic package. So going lower, you do have this black seal at the bottom of the door as well, which would be matte silver without the black optic package. But because of that package, it's all blacked out. And it looks like a, a skirt at the bottom of the door as well. So it's a seal that serves as a skirt. It made the car look sporty on the side as well. And you can see all the body lines starting from the front going all the way to the back. Give the car that character right there from the hood all the way to the back. So very cool design right there. So on top right here, you have a roof rack where you can pretty much place other items such as ski, extra storage or bikes, whatever you want to carry on top of the car. So this is what this is going to be for. All right. Very cool design. And you can see that you have a short back. So the side profile of the car is looking very good right now. So I don't know what you think, but it looks great to me. Now let's keep going to the back. So at the top right here, you have a roof spoiler that's gonna help the car greatly with aerodynamics. So when the air comes through, it's just gonna follow through and all the way down. That's pretty cool right here. And it looks great from the back and from the side as well. So very cool element right there. So you have black on the side right here, black logo, black bar that stretches across the back, 
black SQ5 logo right here and you have this black seal that wraps around the diffuser all those elements will be chrome without the black optic package so with the black optic package everything look black nice and neat and complement every color that Audi has so black optic package is a great thing to have on your car all right so now you have fully LED tail lights on the car so if you have the prestige model then you're gonna have the OLED panels in the light but this one is just a uh, premium plus SQ5 then it's just the LED tail lights and they have dynamic turn signal as well I'm going to show that there you go that's it right there all right so you have two reflectors one on each side and they fit the reverse light the white light you see when you put the car in reverse it's inside the reflector right here so this is pretty cool and you do have the parking sensors on the bumper and going lower you have a sporty diffuser it's looking great and this year you have functional exhaust on the su5 so these are functional exhaust right here my hands can fit inside it two nice exhaust tip right here wow this is amazing i've been complaining about this for years that audi has non-functional exhaust or just a piece of design but this year they actually have actual exhaust on the su5 which is a great upgrade that's the, probably the only thing they added but it's worth it to me all right so you have quad exhaust or two dual exhaust at the back of the car and they sound great when you're running the car all right so now that's it for the back it's looking great at the back so now let's keep going so this car has amazing dimensions it is 184 inches long 74 inches wide and 65 inches tall so this car literally is shorter than an a5 sportback and an a4 so i'm not sure how they managed to get all that space in it but it is shorter than all these cars that have way less practicality than this car so i'm not sure if it has to do with the height or how they put everything inside it but they have a lot of space inside it and we're gonna see that in a moment but now before we get in i want to show the keyless entry and you have it on all the door handles and you do have it on the trunk as well so now to get inside the car with your key in your pocket all you gotta do is place your hand behind the handle and you're gonna unlock the car just like this and now one cool thing about this door is that let me show you so the handle will come up to let you open the door so instead of like coming on the outside so it's still taller than the car instead of coming out then it comes up so you can open the door so now when you're on the outside if you want to lock the door all you got to do is tap the sensor that's on it there's a little crease that will indicate where the sensor is and then you're going to lock the car just like that so now let's check out the inside all right so now jumping inside the su5 so this is the premium luxury that you expect to get inside the car or in any audi so you have all leather interior you can see stitching everywhere pretty much that's the attention to detail and the luxury that you get inside the car and on top of all the technology and all that but the interior is quality so the seats you have the sports bucket seat in the car and it says s on it as well just to let you know and they wrap you around around your side around your leg you can see the, the support right here so that's going to keep you in place when you're driving so when you're taking a, a corner or sharp turn you're not going to be flying all over the place so you're going to be in one position so great seats right here they feel great and you do have extension for your leg as well so this one's oh there we go it comes out all right so extension for the legs and you can adjust your seat however you want all right so now all the steering wheel with stitching on it everything just feels so good here it looks great and then one thing you have since this is an s model you have the carbon fiber with the glossed finish to it i call it carbon fiber but audi calls it the carbon atlas but it's carbon fiber pretty much that's what that's what it is all right so it's right here on the door and you do have it in the center console you have it on the dashboard and you do have it on the other door as well so just follows around the car all right and you have it on the back doors as well all the elements that you have on the doors to the front they're gonna be at the back you have Alcantara right here this is a soft plush um, very smooth material um, that you have here it's on all the S models and people say it's very relaxing material and I can attest to that it feels really good all right so this is what you have on the door right here all right very cool interior so far all right one cool thing that i love in all cars is the sunroof and this car has a huge panoramic sunroof goes all the way to the back so people up front and at the back can enjoy the view of the sky and it comes tinted so the sun when it's out it's not going to be beating down on you all right so now a few more elements here 
So you do have the virtual cockpit on this side right here for the driver, and you have the screen for the MMI system, touch screen, climate control right here. You get some storage here, volume button on this side right there, letter shift knob, and it's perforated to give you some grip. Just like on the steering wheel, the side of the steering wheel is perforated as well to give you some grip when you're driving, so that's pretty cool. So two cup holders right here, and extra storage underneath the armrest. So very, very, very cool thing right here. So one thing I would say, this car right here do not have the uh, Audi phone box or the wireless pad to charge your phone. So that's I'll take that out the way. All right, so now that's pretty much what you have up front. Let me check this. Oh, that is too much storage. I've never seen this much storage in a vlog. Oh my gosh, okay. Man, this car is winning so far. And the, the door bin is big as well. This is massive, wow a lot of space up front so now let's check out the back okay so now let's check out the rear so now jumping at the back of this car right here wow <laughs> it's so comfortable all right same material as the seat up front and they still give you a little support to the side but not as much as the front seat but you're gonna be sitting comfortably here and i like how upright the seats are so wow you're not like slunted or anything like that you can pretty much sit and with all the height that the car has you're guaranteed to have all that headroom in the car as well so i am 5'11 and i have no trouble sitting at the back here so be mindful that i have the seat up front in my ideal driving position so i'm 5'11 so if you are six feet or over you're gonna have a nice time sitting here so you have great knee room and one cool thing is that they make this crease at the back of the seat so your knee can pretty much fit in for extra knee room and also you can slide your foot underneath the seat in front of you for extra leg room right there so this is perfect so i'm sitting comfortably here great seats all leather with all the diamond stitching just like the front so very cool at the back all right great view as i mentioned with the with the sunroof right there panoramic amazing i just love this same quality material on the door all right so everything is looking nice and neat at the back all right so in the center there is a climate control so you have three zone climate control in this car and you can change all the temperatures independently all right so armrest in the center there you go two cup holders in, the, in it as well you can put it away if you don't need it all right so now one cool thing you have at the back of this car just like on the q3 the q7 and the q8 you do have the ability to move the seats forward and back that's it right there so the the middle and the left side they will move together but the right side will move independently so you can adjust the position create more space at the back if you need or if you need more leg room just push it back so that's it right there so this is great so now let's check out the trunk okay so now let's see how it's looking at the back pop this thing open so one cool thing let me do it real quick so i can you can stop it at any time when you have enough space at the back so when you press that button again it's going to come down you can stop it again and press it again to make it go all the way up so that's it right here and this is the practicality that you get with a hatchback on the car you can have all this space to place your items in the car compared to a sedan you have to go underneath and inside to place your items for example when they have a short trunk on the sport back of the a5 or the a7 all those cars are very very practical with their hatchback because it gives you all the space to access the back of the car and you can see this is pretty big at the back of this car you can you can place a lot of items in here i'm not going to be able to do my usual human body test because i have the racks at the back right there all right, so I would have to put it down. I don't want to do all of that. All right, so one cool thing here, you have this piece of metal right there. So if you're dragging stuff out the car, you're not going to be damaging your bumper or anything like this. And one extra piece of practicality or even convenience that you have at the back of this car is those two buttons right here. So you can pretty much, if you have heavy stuff that you need to load in, then you can press this and the car is going to lower itself. This is, you have adaptive air suspension in the car that has the ability to lower and come back up. So right now it's going at the bottom. So now when I'm done, all I got to do is press the up button. It's going to bring the car back up. So this is amazing. I love this about the Q5, the Q7, and the Q8. This is amazing right there. All right, so that's it for the back here. And the dimension is going to show here before I end. 
power of editing. There you go. All right, so now to close it, all you gotta do is press the same button and it's gonna come back down. It's a power tailgate. There you go. So now we're gonna go up front to talk about the infotainment system. All right, so jumping back up front to talk about the infotainment system. So typically in all Audis, underneath the armrest, you will get the Audi phone box with a wireless charger. But on this car, you do not have it. So just make sure any Audi that you're getting, check the fact sheet just to make sure it's in the car. That's it. All right, so here you have storage, but you do have one USB-C port inside here. So for faster connection to the MMI system and also for faster charging, USB-C is faster. All right, but at the same time, talking of connection, there is wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in the car. So that's a great right there. So don't need to connect to any cable. When you get in the car, the phone is going to connect automatically to the system. That's perfect. So volume knob is over here. So you can push it to the right to skip a track and push it to the left to retract. So this is perfect right there. And talking of music, talking of tracks, you have the Bang & Olsen sound system in this car, or B&O. This is top tier sound system. It has the 3D sound effect that will give you concert-like sound inside the car. This is my favorite sound system ever. In this car, you have 19 speakers that will give you that premium sound. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So there's 11 speakers to the front alone. So just imagine how well surrounded you're gonna be in this car with the sound. This is amazing sound system. All right, just take my word for it. I've owned three Audis and all of them had it and I cannot go without it. All right, so now right in the center of the dashboard right there, you have the old school climate control. And I say old school because it's still the buttons. In some models like the Q8, A7, A6, you have two screens. One screen would be for the climate control, but here is just the old school button. So you have to physically press a button and stuff like this. But on the touch screen is different. You just tap it and whatever. All right, so here, a lot of drivers love it because it's very convenient because you know where the buttons are and you can just be driving without even looking, you can reach it. A lot of drivers love it and I love it too. Even though the technology is moving forward, like screens are replacing everything, they look fancy and all of that, but this is still very practical and convenient where it's at right now. I can be driving, just raise my temperature as a state, turn the radio button, whatever. All right, so one cool thing about it is that it has a hidden menu. To see everything here, you gotta hover over the buttons and it's gonna display every other option. You can do it at the bottom as well. It's still gonna show all the options and you push up or down just to make sure you switch to whatever you need. To increase fan speed, you just push up. To decrease, you push down. It's very simple, very, very user-friendly. And then to raise temperature, just turn this. That's it, so easy, self-explanatory. And then you have the heated seat as well. All right, so now right on top, you have this 10-inch screen, which is pretty much the MMI system. It has all the car settings in it. So it's very fluid, very user-friendly, and the icons are very big, pretty much um, you're not going to be clicking anything here that you didn't want to click on. And you can move them around just like you can move the apps on your phone. So very cool. And you do have a click and a haptic feedback. So when you click on something, you're going to hear a click and you're going to feel it as well with the haptic feedback, which is very cool. All right. So I like to go to the car settings to see the render of the car. Just love it. All right. Perfect. On the driver's side, first you have this multifunction steering wheel that will control everything on the virtual cockpit. And the virtual cockpit right here is a 12 inch screen, HD screen, super clear, crystal clear. You don't need to squint, even if the sun is in your eye, you're not even gonna squint to see anything here. So this is perfect right here. So right here, you have information about the car, fuel level, you have consumption, long-term consumption, short-term, um, you do have energy consumption as well, such as the AC. When the AC is on, it's going to show you how much gas is consuming right here. And also, there's a new feature they added, which is the driver state estimation. It's going to tell you how, how long you've been driving and what would be the fatigue level as you're driving. So that's pretty cool. And you have the driver assistance right there to show you the lane keeping assist as well. So very cool. In the center, you also have the media. You can see your music here when you connect it to CarPlay. Um, you can see your radio here when you just have the radio. So that's pretty cool here. You can switch music, see the titles, whatever. And you can make phone calls from here. And one more thing, this car do not have the navigation package on it. But if you purchase the, the navigation pa package or the license for the navigation, 
then you're going to have it on this side as well instead of just having it in the center. So right now it says navigation license was not purchased. So you, you got to make sure the car has it or buy that package for the car if you want navigation on the car. And it's Google Maps is very, very good. All right, so now this is all you have here. And you also have two views. Um, so one view that will expand everything, just make them bigger. And you can see more details of all those menu functions right there. And at last, you have a trip computer you can or pretty much settings for this where you can switch the trip computer to lap time you can see it more stats or different things like this so you have options here so if you take this car on a track it's not really a track car but it, it has the performance for it so you, you might want to try it out on a track and have some fun with it because you have the technology for it and the and the engine all right so you can track uh, lap time or anything like this using this little menu right there. So this is great. All right, so now we're gonna go outside to talk about the engine. Okay, so now let's see how it's looking underneath the bonnet. Let's just pop this thing open. There we go. Oh, brand new car. So everything is looking fresh and, oh, it smells good too. Everything is looking clean right here. This is perfect. All right, so now this car is powered by a 3 liter turbocharged V6 engine that can produce around 349 horsepower with 369 pound-feet of torque. So Audi judged that this car can grow from 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds. And they are really conservative with their numbers because um, they test them in extreme conditions. So they give you an average, a perfect average of all those conditions. But you might be able to get, get away with less than that in perfect conditions. All right, so that's perfect. And also the tires that you have. All right. So now, this engine is controlled by an 8-speed Tiptronic um, gearbox, and you also have about five to six modes in this car. So you have auto, dynamic, comfort, and individual. These are normal Audi drive selects in the car, but this car has extra ability. So they added off-road and all-road in the car. So this is perfect. So they, this car has extra functionality. With all the performance, the height, the size, you can pretty much take this car off-road and have some fun with it. So this is perfect right there. And the fuel efficiency in this car is not bad at all. It is about 19 miles per gallon in the city and 24 on the highway. So now we're gonna listen to the engine. Alright, so now we're taking the SQ5 for a drive and I can tell you this car is super fun and it has a great amount of power. You can hear the engine roaring right now. It's oh my god. It sounds so good and on top of it right now I'm in comfort mode and the car is super quick, super agile. Oh my gosh, it's just amazing. 349 horsepower. Oh my. It's just ready to go. I am in comfort mode. So comfort mode typically is the softest setting in the car. So this is where the engine is more relaxed. Um, right now the steering wheel is very loose. Right now I'll tell you, it's very comfortable. The suspension will suck up all the bumps, make the ride comfortable. But right now the engine is really not chilling. It's not chilling at all. It's ready to go right now. And it has this amazing sound from the intake and the turbo. I can hear it sucking up the air up front. This is amazing. It just sounds, this car is playful. It's, man, it's a great experience inside the car for sure. And that's only comfort mode, so you don't lose anything. So taking sharp corners easily. So the car is pretty agile around the turns and you have the Quattro all wheel drive system in the car that will back you up in those corners. And also in, in the wet surfaces, the Quattro all wheel drive will back you up on those situations. So the Quattro system has the ability to send power to the wheel that needed it the most. So if the front left needed, front right needs the more power, then it's gonna send it there. So it's precise. And another thing you have on this car, since an S model, they have the sport differential at the back on the rear axle. So what it does, it has the ability to shift the torque between the wheels. So let's say 
um, I'm taking a sharp corner, so it's gonna send more torque to the outside wheel that will keep the car from rolling. So it's gonna reduce that body roll and keep the car stabilized along with the Quattro all-wheel drive system. So everything just work all together seamlessly. So this is perfect. So now I'm about to make a U-turn and we're gonna see what the turning radius of the car is. All right, so here we go. This is very, very, very short. So despite the fact, the car is not too long. It is 184 inches long, so this is not too long. So the turning radius is great, so that's for sure. But the performance is just, it's impressing me right now. But the only thing I would say, I just wish this car would have just a little bit more power in it because you have the ability to take this car off-road. So being off-road, I think you might want to pull stuff with the car or whatever so off-roading may need more power but Audi already tested it in those conditions so they know the amount of power they put in there is plenty sufficient but I just wish it would come stock with at least 400 horsepower so that would be amazing but if you want since this is an S model you can tune it so there is plenty of room to play with the with the RP, RPMs uh, the torque and the horsepower so you can inc increase that so no worries at all so you can go if you want to go to 500 go to 500 but this car is very very playful with the amount that it already has and talking of power so this car has all the safety features that you can imagine so it has all the airbags as standard front overhead side and you do have um adaptive cruise control with distancing on the car so what it does you have you have the button on the um, cruise control lever right here where you can just set a distance between you and the car up front and the car is going to maintain that distance it's going to break accordingly just to keep that distance and also you can set the speed and it's going to maintain that speed as well it's going to break and pick it up right at the same speed you set every time so this is great all right and also you have lane keeping assist with traffic jam assist so pretty much with the lane keeping assist when you have it activated it's on the a turn signal lever right there so when you have it activated it's going to keep you in lane and prevent you from swerving to different lanes and hit other cars so that's perfect and of course you have the parking system as well which is um the 360 view camera you have so you have front camera side cameras and back camera um, and you have all the parking sensors. So if you hit this car, that's totally on you. It's not Audi's fault at all. All right, so you have the presence in the car, presence rear, which which gonna work with the blind spot assist. So when there's a car in, in, in the back, so the car is gonna sense it and it's gonna illuminate the blind spot just to let you know that there's a car in your blind spot. And then you have presence front as well. So when um, you're about to hit something at high speed and you didn't realize, the car is gonna brake as hard as it can to reduce that impact so putting the car in dynamic so when I put the car in dynamic it's gonna lower the suspensions to make the car more aerodynamic and reduce that drag oh my gosh this car is so playful it's just amazing I love this car wow they did a great job with it I'm asking for more power but 349 horsepower in this car just feel like this car is flying. This is this is amazing. Wow. I love it. All right, so I'm in dynamic mode, which is the sh um, sharpest or the the heaviest setting here. Um, the sportiest setting, should I say. The sportiest setting of the car. So what it does, it just sharpens everything. The steering wheel becomes heavier, make it more sharp and accurate. The throttle response becomes way better. And then the engine is just ready to go every single time. So this is perfect right there. And also the suspension, they will stiffen up as well, make the car more hard. That's a way to put it and make the car hard, but you can feel the stiffness of it. Um, that, that is great as well. And you do have manual mode in the car as well with pedal shifters mounted to the steering wheel. This is great. And then what else do we have? And we have off-road and all-road. So when you put it in off-road or all-road, the car is gonna raise the suspensions higher, raise the car higher to give you extra ground clearance. So this is all the stuff that you get in this car. It is very playful. It is very practical with all the space inside. So you cannot go wrong with the SQ5 at all. So as long as your budget 
allow you, then this is a great car to get. Or you can go to the Q5, just a little bit less power, less quick, but same practicality. And it's just one of those amazing cars. Definitely recommend it. All right, Rider fam, thank you so much for watching this review about the 2024 Audi SQ5. So if you have any questions or inquiries about this car, or any other car for that matter, feel free to reach out to one at Audi Wester Chapel. He's gonna be able to help you out wherever you are in the country. And now if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other video that I'll post in the future. And now until we meet again, let's keep riding.